set for Ivy Blues and that'll bring the new shows. Now what we have to do uh, is the, to make a discovery. So let's add a discovery. Next. Use Heavy Wrench. And there will be our look back in the base. If you, you have a uh, controller 9800, you're probably going to use HDFS, HDVY, NightConf. If you have a controller, make sure you have NightConf enabled. Now let's check our discovery. It should complete. Let's see. We're seeing our device names. We go to uh, border. We do have SNMP server here. So let me do a confirmation I did not config SAMP so I'm going to show SAMP the discovers and add it with our SAMP default config edge one show run I SAMP SMP config is added also check my fusion router as an piece configs also added by DNAC. At this time discovery is complete and we have to provisioning inventory. Under 405 we can see our uh, our devices are all here. A border, two edge, and one fusion router. They're all here. So next, we're going to show you is the the ice. You can go to network devices. You will surprisingly find all the devices have been added into the ice. Remember, we just enabled. APIs and integrate our eyes with DNAC. This is what DNAC is going to do for us. All devices added. Let's see what DNAC has done for us. It has radios, secrets configured, SMPs automatically configured, and even the trust sack enabled. Now we have Trussack sent to ICE and uh, a device configuration for ASEC. So all good. So let's now head back to our DNAC provision inventory. Click all device except the Fusion. Um, we go action, provision, and provision device. Now we're going to do is uh, something before uh, adding devices into the fabric. Um, go next. This time we'll apply a few uh, advanced config. Still click next. This, these are the things we're going to add. We had the NTP, AAA server, 
for client and for network management and domain, DNS domain, blah, blah, blah. I'll go deploy, deploy now. View the task. Still running. Still running. Now here you go. We have SUSAP provision, the advanced config. And in future, if you do some many config in the device, we, for example, border, uh, you have to do uh, uh, synchronization, right? Sync, resync device. And you shouldn't, but yeah, if you did, then you have to do uh, a resync. Yeah. So for now, we can configure everything in the DNAC. Uh, the one are repositioned and discovered what our wireframe is to, uh, to show CTS uh, environment data. Uh, see if we can pull the SGTs from ICE. And we're seeing our Win7 SGD Tag 1, Tag 2, Tag 3, DC 2012, MGMT net that we created in previous videos. That's uh, the version of the switch is 17.9.2. This switch is a 9300. What you're going to be aware of is um, I'm actually using a 36. 50 running at 16.12.3. I can also uh, show CTS environment data. And it's also going to work. And it's showing me the tags we created. Do uh, so show on my edge one. Also seeing the data. Back to the eyes, um, I'm seeing the authentications are successful. But if you have disabled, if you disable the TRS 1.0, you I'm going to show you an error. You, if you're using um, if you're using 3650. This arrow you might see when you are using 3650 switch. It's telling you T EAPTRS protocol not supported. Unsupported protocol. What are you going to do is to go administration, settings, security. Make sure you enable TLC 1.0 and then your CDS will just work fine on your 3650 switch. Okay, that's the one point to note. Um, then we'll go ahead to create our VM. All right, the first thing we can do, we had to we'll show you provision. Uh, policy group based policy and uh, you will click one it here to receive the policy group um, right here and the security groups star migration then you will see the newly created uh, tags our tags are, are showing uh, in DNAC now okay as GT now, what I'm going to do is to do provisioning and go to virtual network or create a uh, tool of virtual networks. As here, we'll create CLAP VN and CLAP VN2. And here we have two network. It will be um, 
our tag one, win seven tag one, win tag seven two, and this will win seven tag three. Okay. So go to virtual network. Here we'll create their three virtual networks. Let's do it. See you see that VN. Exit or create another VN. See that VN two. Hit deploy. Exit. Now we create a CLAP VN and CLAP VN two. Now what we'll do, we'll go back to uh, our policy and group-based access control. In the security group, we'll find our tag one, two, and click edit. Make it to CLAB VN. Save. Sync. Okay, see how we win. Now, set tag one to three. Make to CLAB VN2. Okay. These attacks are synced through the PS grade. That's where you can see it from, uh, from the DNAC. You pull the phone uh, access device by PS grade.